Hello YouTube, today we're back at a special location. We're here actually at Mount Charleston. There is a craft fair going on. It's Christmas in July. Oh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's hot. I'm doing this for you guys. Enjoy. So just for some context, this opened at 10. I think it's about 10.40. Parked right here on the side next to this little chapel. After coming up this way about 14 miles. Yeah, some beautiful views. We're gonna go check out what Christmas in July is like. Walking up to the craft fair, it looks like that they have a bunch of different vendors. This is a nice little overview before I get down there. Um, some plant powered food trucks. Looks like a seafood food truck. And then a bunch of different vendors down in there. So we're gonna go down and see uh, what's going on. This is the Mount Charleston Resort. We're gonna walk inside of here first, see what is going on. Thank you. little cafe for some drinks and snacks. Nice. It's feeling a lot like Christmas. So before we get into the indoor vendors, I want to walk over here and check out some of these old school things that I noticed. They have one of those old school, like you can squeeze and it will tell you where you rank in the ranking and then they have an old school slot machine over here which is really awesome you don't see these too often and then inside of here an amazing view you can look over and watch mount charleston see what's going on maybe catch a few wild animals while you eat and just the theming of this bar in general is really cool it kind of has that old western feel to it. it seems like a perfect themed bar for this little lodge And then heading back into the indoor vendors, this is the vendors that you would see when you first come in. They have things like jewelry, they have uh, freeze-dried candy, it's like the new craze. I haven't ever tried freeze-dried candy, I think I had freeze-dried Skittles once, they were actually really good. But I haven't like uh, gone out of my way to try any. And then through here they have what ends up being a bunch of different rooms, which is really awesome, that lead into... A whole bunch of different crafts and things so i kind of thought this was smaller than it was when i first came you can see here they have some hats lamps starting to see some snowmen santas starting to get christmas themed but as you walk into this room it's like stepping into the north pole and it really brought in the christmas in july theme you'll see why in just a second oh, i'm sorry this is the a dining area so this room that i'm going to go into next is the one that has the christmas in july theme boom Hello, Santa Claus. Hello, Mrs. Claus. Can I get a ho 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 in the chat? <laughs> Seriously though, this is uh, this is great. This room right here was really bringing in the Christmas in July feel and it's what I was hoping to feel when I went out there. I wanted to kind of get into the spirit. So this is doing it. They have different jewelry, different ornaments, Christmas snacks back here. I mean, you can almost smell the gingerbread, right? This is great. A great place, a great experience, different wreaths. They have candles, uh, glass jars to drink out of, just all types of things. Different Christmas lights. I mean, it goes on and on. They have snow globes, plates, anything Christmas related. It was in this room. I would say this room for sure was the most Christmas room. Everything else, it was a craft fair. So even though the theme was Christmas in July, Obviously, you could do any type of crafts, but this seemed to be the room where they put all the Christmas stuff, or at least the majority of it, and that was a really cool experience. And you step up here, and they have some soaps, handcrafted soaps. I think coming up uh, is like this plush bunny. It's just an overview of the room that we were just walking through. They had the, or maybe it wasn't a bunny, I can't remember what it was, but you'll see in a second. Let's look at this jewelry real quick. I want to get ahead of ourselves. Trying to appreciate all the vendors, take it all in. There was a lot of dogs here, which I think is cool. It was very pet friendly, not just service animals, all types of dogs. If you're still watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, here's the animals. It's pigs. So these are, like, handmade, hand-sewn pigs with different themes. I thought that was pretty cool. 
so this is going to start to wrap up the indoor then i'm going to walk outside to the back area so we saw the front we didn't explore the front yet but we did get an overview of it then we walked inside of the building and saw the indoor vendors and now we're going to step outside and check out what's going on outside after we get an overview of this table of a massive order of look like toys anyway uh this is outside i put my glasses on real quick adjust to the sun and yeah let's go ahead and check this out let me show you this is the area if i would have went that way that's the front so we just walked through the building rather than exploring the front first i mean i know so now onto the back but yeah, I and you can already see this is a lot less Christmas themed. They have more like crystals, geodes. They had some snacks, a couple food vendors out here. Santa is out here though, to get a picture of Santa, so that was cool. But this is uh, this gave me more of a craft fair vibe, not a Christmas craft fair vibe. When you stepped outside, which is fine. It was awesome. It was a free event, free parking. And then you could come and check out these local vendors, buy some homemade, handmade crafts, out here. candles, snacks, get a picture with Santa, and even get your Christmas on if you wanted to. Overall, this is an awesome event. Let's continue to walk around and check everything out. So we'll continue walking. I sped it up just because it's kind of a lot to see. They did have some cool handmade Mickey ears. different vintage shirts it looks like uh that was also another animal a handmade animal like the pig i showed you earlier but yeah there's santa right there i got a picture with him i'll put the picture in this is local honey more christmas things i think they have some more crystals and geodes back here and yeah that was kind of that view and then here's this picture of me and santa drop a like for christmas Okay, so I just wanted to give an update. I just walked all through there. We also were in there. Now we're gonna go in front of me, which is background front, and that should cover everything. Okay, so we're in here. We got an elf, that's awesome. We got a lawyer out here. Hello. Good, how are you? Let me get a picture with that off on the way back. Look at that big dog. I thought I was recording. I think I was recording. Anyway, we're inside of the front portion now, the last little portion to check out. There's a lot of dogs out here. <laughs> little dog, little dog on little dog crime. <laughs> Wellness here. Yeah, that sounds good. I see there's a nice one elf on the shelf. I see Snoop on a stoop. It's beautiful and I had to share pretty far to get here so I didn't want to just leave as soon as I was done walking around. Although it is very hot. So again, if you're out in this heat, drink some water. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always going on adventures. I appreciate you. Until next time, peace.